Way back in the 1980s, much to my surprise, I was named the religious superior for the Holy Cross priests and brothers at the University of Notre Dame. At that time, the campus community was about 136 members, and I was intimidated. A former provincial, however, gave me some wonderful advice. He said, besides trying to serve the flock, I should take it as my personal responsibility to pray for them. And he recommended that I sit with the house directory and think of the members name by name before the Blessed Sacrament, uh, lifting them up in prayer. I try to continue that practice now that I am the Bishop of Peoria in my 18th year. This is our diocesan directory. It lists the name of every priest and deacon, every religious community, all our ministries, our Newman centers, all our schools, and especially all our parishes. And in prayer, maybe especially in these days of health crisis, I try to pray by name to all those different groups I'm called to serve. This is a difficult moment where the Mass is not available to the average believer in our diocese. But always remember, our liturgy is a celestial liturgy. At every Mass, be it a private Mass with no one there but the celebrant, or in better times when the cathedral is full, it's not just us, it's all the angels and the saints. Mass unites heaven to earth. And even at this moment of challenge and difficulty and pain, at the liturgy, Mary prays with us and for us. Good Saint Joseph, all the saints and angels, we are united in our faith in Christ. He is our high priest, and heaven and earth come together when we worship. So even though you might not be physically present in the cathedral or your parish church, spiritually, you are united to the Lord and to that great company of witnesses and believers who have gone before us and now live in glory. I offer these reflections sitting before the tomb of the venerable servant of God, Fulton Sheen. He was certainly a man of deep and intense and daily prayer. The Holy Father himself has declared that Fulton Sheen worked a miracle in basically raising the dead. Someone who was born dead, was dead physically, medically, for an hour, is now a boy in good health and restored to his family because of the intercession of Fulton Sheen. I am comforted by the thought that Fulton Sheen is entombed in our cathedral, just steps away from where he was ordained to the priesthood in the sanctuary. He prays with us and for us. He gives us good teaching about how to intercede for one another, how to believe even when it's difficult, how to be heroic Catholic believers. So dear friends in Christ, there is nothing in the heavens or on earth that can get between us and Jesus Christ. And if we believe the way Fulton Sheen did, even in the toughest moments of this time we're living through, we can be reassured and comforted. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.